You might want to take the fight straight to Burmese Goo. All right, all right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen here, this is going to be the third, fourth series for today. It's going to be Burmese Goo going up against Team Gosu from the USA and also from Myanmar coming in from Burmese Goals. Yeah, and Lady Liberty is definitely watching this series right now. USA, team goes to the first tournament for MLBB, the first championship as a team. And they are in this predicament, this deciding series against Boomis Go, topping that Group B. It's not going to be easy, but it's definitely going to be fun to watch. Yes, definitely here. But uh, Panda will be on the offlane role here. He's going to OB himself. He does have the high and dry assassin emblem here. And he's going to try and buy a little bit of time here. But Team Gosu, he's going to be trying to steal off this buff. Nicely done here from wow. Henry. And I don't think he's going to get punished here. But here comes Ice Ice with the stun. Here comes follow up from Kid001. The flicker from Kendry. He's going to buy time here. Apparently, I think he's going to get picked off. But Boomy's Ghost is ignore him. He's going to get out. There's no point wasting time trying to chase down this Masha. He she does have the mobility, she has the extra movement speed and it's just way, way too, too much of a hassle to try and catch her off and Team Gosu, they are doing what Burmese Ghost did uh, to this morning to Team Axis. They got that first turret in under a minute and a half, perfectly done by Team Gosu. Well, before that here, for those of you watching here, there is going to be a redemption code for you to redeem some skins or some prizes here. This is the code for you guys, type in right now. There's going to be a limited amount here for those of you trying to redeem it here. But as of now, remember to redeem here, but hold that down for now because on wow. top side here, Panda go, going for a dive here, but unfortunately doesn't seem to be able to connect those ejector here. However, Reezy in some trouble. Here comes the darkness here. He's going to go for the catch here. And how will they do this? And Basic is going to go in. has the Phantom Steed. Runs out at the last second, but it's okay. I want to point out what Basic did with that Leomon. It was perfectly done. So Panda tried to go in for the eject. He got the Steed. He knocked Panda back. Cancelled the eject animation to avoid getting tossed back into the into the incoming Burmese Goose. But that will give the blue team the turtle at least. And team goes to at least they did not lose a single member. Yep, you can see Roly Boly here. He's going to try and find a target here. He has the information to work with. He saw two members members from Sada Team go sue. In this case, maybe, uh-oh, maybe he's in some trouble here. Revitalize that and try and buy a little bit of time for the rest of the team to set this up. But unfortunately, gets picked off here. Mistakes were made. Maybe a little bit of miscommunication. But Kit, 001, he wants to retaliate. But well, looks like he seems to be disengaging this fight. Well, Team go sue, they say they're bouncing back. We look at the replay uh, for just now. Maybe completely caught out. Not his fault though, Team Gosu, they came in with a perfect collapse to make sure that he was not able to use that glorious pathway to get out and because of that, uh, Team Gosu managed to stall out Burmese Ghost's aggression. Yeah, I'm speaking of which here, we see a little bit of harassment coming from Burmese Ghost. They want to contest the blue buff now and Team Gosu, how are they going to respond to this sun on towards maybe, but at the same time, oh, oh no, no, Ice, he was trying to go back but unfortunately, Gets cancelled here and Kendry being sneaky again, trying to steal off the blue buff for himself. But it seems to me he's gonna make his attempt here. He knows Kid 001 needs the buff but forces a flicker. Kendry, where is he oh, gonna be alright? Here comes the glorious buff with a stun. Two man connection here, but the team gets picked off here because basic from the side, team goes to they steal the blue buff, they take him down, and now they are split up. How will they do this? And his team goes to managed to pick up the Lunox in the beginning, which uh, pick pick up one one core in the beginning means that boomers go, they're running out of gas, panda tries to go in and do make something happen, not able to do so and now Ice Ice as the boxer has to retreat immediately. Polo is there as the backup of Team Gosu and just great execution from the American squad. Wow, Kendry with the baits here, space created all by himself and Burmese Goose, they definitely weren't expecting such an aggressive marcher coming in here and usually we always see the split push potential but Kendry is making full use of those abilities that the Masha has to offer, the invulnerabilities to buy time for the team and it's working out for them and as of now, Team goes to their 700 goal lead overall compared to Burmese goal. Pretty 50-50, but as of now, Ice Eyes, uh-oh. Ice Eyes again, call out, has a glorious pathway. This time, the rejuvenate, the revitalize, actually keeping him alive. So Team goes to not able to get anything in return, but Kid now joins the fight. Maybe finding that pick onto Paulo, forcing him back. Breezy is now isolated from the rest of his team as Ace tries to go for the chase. Not able to get that, but Turtle is up. Burmese goes. The second turtle will be the target. Team goes to this time. They might be re ready to collapse oh. as they immediately follows to wet. But Ace 
way too ambitious. Will be picked up, and this time a team goes to the try back basic. Dropping low, but able to uh, stave off Burmese goals on that turtle attack. Team goes to again perfect patience. That was ridiculous quick coming from the Leomon and the Bruno as well. As soon as his HP dropped below the 30% mark, one swing and Ace was taken out here. A little bit late towards with the revitalized there, but a nice call there. Nice reactions coming from Team Gosu. And currently, they are in the lead with the Masha. And Team Gosu, they're on the chase with the Phantom Steed now. Kid again being called out for a third time, and that is a killing spree for Basic. Gets the push back onto Ice Ice. Here comes Ace. Goes right in, tries to deal the damage, but they're not able to do so. Glorious Parry for maybe though. Maybe this is the chance for Burmese go, but for them, it's just a retreat call. They are signaling the red flag. They're not going to take this fight against Team Gosu. Yep, they're going to be playing this a little bit safe here. Burmese goals, they are lack, losing in terms of economy, but the gold buff once again. Team goes to, they want to contest this, but will they be able to? Your Demon Hunter sort up on towards the, on the Masha already here, and Ice Ice trying to pick off into his Valer, but unfortunately doesn't seem to connect the dot. And I want to take this quick moment to just command what Kenray is doing. He's feeling really good on this Masha after that previous series against Candy comeback. He's creating so much space. This jaw hit by Panda, he was supposed to go around following the rest of the ghouls create space, but because of uh, because of Kenray, Jawhead Panda is stuck in the same lane for the longest time ever. Kenry is just walking away with Grand Theft Auto in the jungle, in the lane, and Bumis goes, they want to force this fight. Glorious pathway and the floor is duet straight into the back line. Polo gets caught out. Breezy is gonna melt as well. Ace, this initiation is not as ambitious and it will pay off. Now Basic is gonna jump in, try to fight this club, but Claw will get to safety. Jano has to retreat as well. And Bumis go. My fourth team goes with the bow down to them. They'll settle for two kills and they'll lose one in return. What a huge blazing duet there coming from Ace, very ambitious, but definitely Team Gosu wasn't expecting a fully stacked cloud there. And you can see this engagement from the backslides. Blazing the way, cuts out two to three members. Everyone was dropping so low. Basic was caught out as well, which gave them kind of a slight edge here, but nice save. They come from General for just zoning off 007. They wanted the objectives, unfortunately. Oh, the stun from Panda. He tried to go for a stun. Oh, However, Ice Ice. Again, call out. You have the revitalize to keep him alive. Glorious Pavel is dead. And Law and Order on top of Breezy. Breezy will flicker to safety. General hitting that soccer ball onto Ace 07 will send him back to the rest of his team. But again, Team Gosu, they had this issue against the series. Uh, when they were playing against Axis Esports, the front line was split from the course and that was exactly what happened in the fight that Ace saw an amazing opportunity for that flawless duet. Hopefully Team Goes will notice that and will rectify it in the, in the upcoming fights. Well, maybe, but at the same time here, Ace 007, he's got a brand new golden staff now. This cloud is going to slowly but surely hit like a truck. Kenry, he's going to try and solo draw head all by himself out on the panda, but the blue buff once again, Team Gosu, they want to reset this fight and Burmese goes, they want to contest this year. Nice wall block there, and unfortunately, no contestants coming from Burmese goals now. Team Gosu, they might go for the class right now, they see the opportunity, Kenre, he knows he can fight, and Burmese goes, they know they can't. So Team Gosu, again, forcing Burmese goals back, they're playing it slow and meticulous, first in a first for today, a first for Team Gosu at least, and Burmese goals, they're finding it slightly hard to penetrate uh, the, the red team. Well, seems to me right now, they are respecting each other's boundaries here. The blue buff has always been contested from both sides here. And Burmese School, they want to make an engagement here. And wall charge away. Space created coming from Breezy. 007 is going to clear out the mid lane. But the, neck, the Lord is going to be up for grabs. Ice Ice going to roam his way through. Open up the map a little bit more to get those information to try. Uh, to quite catch out one of the members, maybe even some of the members from the team goes to. Will they be able to do that? That's going to be the question, but we know Lord is going to be the objective coming in from both sides now. The team goes to, they actually set up the top minion way so they don't have to worry about that particular lane for now. And the whole, the entirety of their attention is going to focus, be focused on that Lord area. And Burmese School know that. They know that they have to protect this Lord area and the fantasy does come out. Ice Ice call out once again, Lord's pathway and reju rejuvenate. Does keep uh, the park there alive, but now Burmese go. Time for the re-engage. Here comes Pat are trying to look for a target and he will find the Violet Polo though does survive and that means that Panda is isolated from Resident Evil Great Wild Charge from Breezy as Team goes to Breeze through the fight it's unstoppable for basic Team Gosu with the perfect response. Oh wow, Burmese Goose, they tried to dive over commit towards Polo, tried to take down the Valor himself, unfortunately gets picked off, but now it's not over yet right now. He wants to pick off Basic here. Ice Ice does not have to damage all the movements we to chase to his Leomon here. They need K001 to do this fight. However, 
Great attempt there from the team goes through here. They punish Panda for that misplay here to try to overextend towards Polo and did not get the kill from San Burmese Ghouls. And at the same time, because Kid 001 got picked up three times in a row by Basic in the early game, this Leomo is 5 0 2. We talk about how he is the neutral pick. He is the pick that does not have counters too much hero but does not have much counter. S uh, safe, stable, always able to scale, and you're given such a big lead. Team goes to will ride that wave. Yep, Wind Talker is up on the march out here. He's gonna make a little bit more uh, movement speeds here coming Ace. from uh, Kenry. He's gonna be very, very quickly here. But Ace, he's all by himself. He's trying to buy them at time here. The Lord is gonna be up for grabs. Ace tries to go for the juke. They raid for for him. Kenry will get one shot. At Kenry will take him down. And Team Gosu, their one man advantage right now. And Burmese Ghost still wanna take this fight. Brilliant. From K, he will finally kill on the Valley first, and here comes Panda with the intent on top of Basic as well. They find the Bruno, and it's the double alley oop. The slam dunk from Panda. Burmese goes, they will stop that Lord attempt. Ooh, they needed that kill. They needed those wins here, but at the same time, they've lost Ace in the process. Definitely a worthy process. Burmese do, they've lost a lot of fights here. They're trying to equalize the economy here, and so far, so good. They lose in terms of four, uh, four kills here, but at the same time, they definitely were able to keep up in terms of momentum here. It's not over yet for Burmese Ghouls, but a team goes through, they need to find a way to apply the pressure even harder now. Kenry is doing exactly that right now from the team goes through. And you've if you are a Marsha and you are able to run around the map like this, you're going to pose a lot of problems for Burmese Goose. Kenry has been keeping Panda in check for the longer time ever, and now he's diverting the resources of Burmese Goose. That's four members from the blue team trying to chase him out. Ace will find him. Panda as well coming in, trying to go for the eject, and Kenry knows he's going to die, but he's bought enough space, and hopefully this is worth for Team Gosu. That is crazy there. You know, throwing his body to just buy space, but Team Gosu, they lost the earlier fight here. They don't mind throwing this body here to open up the map and that's exactly what they have done but as of now team goes through they need to win this fight Panda Ooh. catches on the basic, basic. he misses he the phantom gets seed away from the phantom seed and here comes the glorious pair with basics not gonna make it out of this one the shutdown for the hilos and maybe it's going to be burmese ghost turn to turn this around ice ice with the engage for the bucks shield unity he does roll right in burmese go the rest of the team starting on that lord but they will be ready to collapse if team goes whoever comes here lord down to 50 percent can team goes team goes to pull off anything they're gonna push the middle wave out they concede this Lord, as he will go over to the way of Burmese schools, the retribution is still, and Burmese schools will continue to collapse. But great maneuver from General to take out the tier two mid. He has bought time for the rest of his team, but can he get away? No, Panda follows him. He needs one more king, but it seems like he won't get that, and he will be slain by Ice Ice. Nicely done there, coming in from a Burmese schools to make that retaliation. But team goes to Kenry. They're in some trouble now because why he's getting died pretty hard. Here comes Kid as well. For, with the darkness here, he's gonna go in for the dive, but unfortunately, a little bit too quick there. Like you said, with the wind talker as well. But uh, Burmese schools right now, they managed to equalize the score. They're gonna try this, not in the lead yet, but the Lord is gonna be in their favor. Burmese schools is gonna try and capitalize in all this situation. Team goes to how will they fight this year? They need to wait for the group general to actually come over line now. Yeah, the later the game goes, the better it is for Team Gosu. The first time that this team uh, has a goal lead the entire day and it's against the strongest team in the group as well. However, Burmese goals, because of that lore, they can easily go for this stage. You can see they're pushing one and four, two lanes, getting pressured at the same time. This is where Kenry is going to do what he does best. Split push the bottom main, hope that his team can hold it, but Burmese goals might not let that happen. Breezy oh. immediately ejected to the back of the Burmese goals team, has to wild charge to safety and that is good for them. Basic trying to get a push back, finally with the defense, but Polo not enough and the blazing duet from A007 will make Make sure that Burmese Ghouls will get the kills that they need and this should be the final push. Can Ray does recall back? Can he defend his base? A few final touches from Burmese Ghouls and they will secure game one of this best of